Yo and hello everybody. I'm Mike. That's Chris. This is Showcase Showdown where Chris and Mike get together and we show off cards from our collection and try to beat the pants off of each other. And Chris, welcome to the show again. You're on the correct side. Hopefully the side I'm going to keep you on for a long time, which is the loser's bracket since no, you conceded Nolan Ryan. Thank you for making it five to five now. Well, five, it's it's amazing that after all this time that we've been doing this, which, by the way, is about the best hour on YouTube. It's at least the most fun hour I have on YouTube. No drama except me and you, mano a mano. But uh, I thought the last time I conceded with Nolan Ryan, but we, I thought you had a wonderful-looking Nolan Ryan collection. But, uh, you know, my man Darren, uh, he brought it with some really big Nolan Ryan's as my yeah, his, substitute. His stuff is no joke, and it's it's impressive. Like I was, I ended up, I did an interview with uh, Drew from the Drew, and uh, it's going to be on a Golden Age of Cardboard episode, uh, probably tomorrow, actually, based on when this is going to air. And what's great about it is we were talking about ways to enjoy our collection without buying stuff. That's the whole point of the episode. And I brought up this show and how much I am enjoying pulling out cards that I might not pull out very often or, or put them all together and see them together. And it is so much fun. Uh, beats the heck out of buying a card. I love already having them and showing them off. Right. Right. Well, and you know, we get, a, we get to get them out. And, yeah. and, you know, get to see stuff that we normally wouldn't. And I, I, for one, know that there are a lot of other guys watching YouTube that look forward to getting out their cards to follow along with us. And, uh, you know, again, not buying a single card. Well, unless maybe, unless I think we have about three weeks and I go to a show and know I'm missing the next, you know, missing a 82 Reggie Jackson or something like that. But really not. It, this is fun. This is a fun way of doing it. And even if you did buy the, you would want to buy the Reggie anyway, right? So sure. um, it gives you, it lights a fire under you a little bit. Speaking of Reggie, Mr. October is the guy we're doing today. And I don't know. I'm, I'm relatively confident. How are you feeling as we get ready to showcase showdown? I'm relative, relatively confident for you as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I tell you, so I, I, I like my Reggie Jackson collection, but growing up, I grew up, uh, I grew up in uh, middle Missouri and I was a Kansas city Royals fans, a fan and very, there's not a lot of people that know that Kansas city was an incredible baseball team from 76 to, you know, till, till the mid eighties. And the reason the, the world doesn't know this is because of the New York Yankees. And a big part of that was Reggie Jackson. The Royals won their division a lot. And every year they just couldn't get past the Yankees. And, and they would take it to the final game. And then, you know, Chris Chambliss would hit a home run or Reggie Jackson would hit a home run. And, and that got to where I just did, I did not like Reggie Jackson. Um, and, uh, but now I've grown, you know, I've gotten older and now I admire what he has accomplished. But I'm lucky to have one single Reggie Jackson card in my collection because I, I would have thrown darts at him back in the day. Well, I'm excited. We, um, we're going to go through the Reggie cards. We're only going to do tops for Reggie. We both agreed that we, we have enough holes in the Donruss, the early 80s stuff. And Reggie's career is, you know, 69 through 87 are his tops cards. Um, and we're going to go through that. Chris, why don't you tell everybody the rules and what they should do if they want to follow along? Okay. I say this every time, but push, you should push pause, go into your collection, pull out all the Reggie Jackson cards, put them in order from his newest card all the way back down to his rookie card. And then follow along with us. You get five points for having the card. Now, we do not, both of us really don't care about the grade on the card. We love the card, but that's how we decide points with our particular game that we're playing. So 
uh, we take the grade and add it to those five points, and that's the points we get. And at the end, Mike totals it up and gives us uh, – and we see who wins. Now, the rookie card is worth double. So if you have the rookie card, rookie card is worth 10 points plus double the score. And uh, so having the rookie card is a big deal and having a nice rookie card is a big deal. So it's fun. And just, you know, let us know in the comments if you if your collection beats us or let us know if you like what we're doing. Just, just follow along and have fun with us. Yeah, you've had a couple times where that rookie card has given you the walk-off victory. So I'm going to hope that that doesn't happen today. Let's get into showdown mode. Here we go. Uh, I've got the scorecard on another screen here. I'm going to keep score as we go along. We're going to start hey, here. Let them know what happens at the end of this as well. About the Yeah, so when we're done with this showcase showdown, we'll pull up the, sp the spinning wheel of random names. We have 20 names left that we had originally put on. We started, I guess, with 30 because this is episode 10. Or no, this is episode 11, so maybe we had 31, whatever. We got 20 left that we'll spin and see who will be on next week's episode. But before we get to the top side, so he does have an 88 Fleer, which is on the basic set registry. We are using the PSA basic set registry to determine what cards we're going to show. But there's the 88 Fleer Reggie back in Oakland with his last hurrah there. Uh, I just hap I literally just happened to have that card laying around. Um, Reggie was one of, those, one of those guys that I liked but I always thought he'd be kind of a prick if you met him. And I think that's actually true. I, I've never met Reggie Jackson, so I can't attest to it personally, but uh, let's start with his 87 tops card. Your okay. visitor, so you get to go first. All right. Well, my 87 is in a seven. Well, I'm going to take the early lead. I've got a gem mint 10. Mm -mm. I'm afraid you might get me a thousand little cuts here to kill me by, you know, but. Uh, hey, seven's respectable. That's good. Uh, see, I, I go, I don't have a 10 in the next one. Uh, 86 tops. I have an eight. Well, you still get a point off me because I have a seven. Okay. I love that. The Angels years were kind of interesting years. That was when he was in the, the, uh, Leslie Nielsen movie. Um, ah, true. What's What was that called? Um, Naked Gun. Naked Gun. Thank you. I don't know why I thought. Okay. 85. Okay. In 85, I have, I have it in a six. And I have it in a seven. You're right. The death by a thousand cuts things is manifesting itself. Right. And, you know, these probably just like you, these sat in our collections for a while. And, and you know, I'm not going to go out and buy a seven, but, you know, it's easy for me to just take my cards and grade it. I know, I know it didn't. I just want to do it. I, I want my cards to look uniform and uh, uh, I just yep. I love them. I love them. So 84. Um, yeah, 84 is a neat little card. And this is his traditional swing. I mean, when you think of Reggie Jackson, you know, when he missed when he missed it on a swing, he looked like he screwed himself into the ground. But when he connected, that knee almost touches the ground and it's just a beautiful swing. I have it in a nine. I have it in a seven. So uh, let's see. So what's that? 14 for me, 12 for you. All right. He does. I, I pulled out a, just a couple of other Reggie's. I've got the 84 Donruss here. Uh, great design. All right. 83 tops. Another. I love the dude. Is that not Reggie? That inset picture where he's wearing the sunglasses, like trying to look cool. I've got a PSA nine in the 83. I got a PSA eight. Okay. I swear I'm going to beat you one of these cards. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not holding my breath on that. Um, I also have his super veteran card from 83 tops. Love that. Love that card. All right. 82. It just, this amazes me that he played with the angels as long as he did. 
Yeah. So. 82, what do you got? I have an eight. That's the traded. Well, that is the traded. Hang on. <laughs> I have a seven. You have a seven. I have a nine in the 82. See, I the, tried traded to card, the traded card's a great card, actually. So no, no, no need to feel bad that you have that. All right. I have the 81. I loved this card as a kid. Um, All-star banner. I have a seven. Well, I could have picked up one, but I did not. I have a seven as well. So we'll tie. Push. It's a push. There. I feel, I feel, uh, you know, feel okay. feel like I belong. You didn't, you didn't lose that card. That's good. I'm going to show a few 81s here as well because here's the Donner's 81. Love it. And then here's another Donner's 81. Yeah, he's got two cards in 81 Donruss. He's got two cards in 81 Fleer. I got, I'm going to show both of those. I love the Mr. Baseball one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Reggie, what, he didn't He didn't just look cool. He was cool. <laughs> yeah. Some people, it's a it's a joke. For him, it was his person. That's who he was. Yeah. I, I think right. he, a lot like, uh, a lot like Ricky, I think he talked to, talked to himself in third person sometimes, you know. <laughs> For sure. 1980. I got the card, but it's in a lower grade. I got a five. But I'm glad I have it. I have a nine. So. All right. Let's, you want to, we're about halfway done. You want to know the score? Yeah. Look, give me the bad details right now. You got 94. I have 108. So, and I've, and we both had all the cards so far. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get into the 70s now. 79 tops. I have it in a PSA 7. I have it in a PSA 5. Uh, I kind of um, felt like this was going to happen on, on the Reggie cards. All right. Well, you might get a point here. Let's see. 78. Well, unless I can add all these together, I have a six. Oh, no, you didn't get any points. I have a six also. Okay. I only pulled this one. Um, but don't you love the shield? He's taking that that same swing, right? Knee almost touching the ground. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful card. Beautiful. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and show these two. The World Series, yep. World Series and then the record breaker. Yeah. Just iconic, iconic cards. Okay, my turn. I think so. Okay, and uh, seventy-seven, love it, but mine's in a five and a half. I have a seven. Could this be our first sweep? Like where I sweep you? It is not going to happen. It is not going to happen. I will walk. I will get up, and pretend like I dropped a card. Or something, and or I'll slide one by you. You won't see it. Well, seventy six. Here's another shot for you. I've got a PSA seven. Not much of a shot. I got a six. Okay. Great you cards. Go, you might go wire to wire with all of us having the all the cards. <laughs> so seventy five. If there's a chance I can pick up one, I hope maybe you got a lower grade one here. But I have mine in a seven. Okay. It's a push. I have a seven. There was a glimmer of hope, wasn't there? Just slight. All right. 74. You might get some. I only have a six. I, only have a I have a six as well. I can't pick up anything <laughs> from you. <laughs> His cards are not, you know, crazy expensive, right? I mean, Obviously, in higher grades, all vintage is expensive. But, you know, sixes, sevens, people poo-poo on me. Like, why do you buy that crap? And I'm like, because it's cheap and I want them, you know. Right. You know, and in, in, in his time frame, he was in 69 and his rookie was. And, and But, like, 
bench and uh, bench and Ryan's rookie in 68s are better cards or more expensive cards usually than his. And, and even the, you know, the Seaver in 67, um, you know, are, are a little harder, more expensive cards than Reggie, but his cards are, his cards are typical. A lot of when I think of his cards, this one's a little bit different in 73 because he's throwing the ball and I got mine in a six. I too have a six. Six, six. It's hard. It's going to be hard to win if you don't beat me on any cards. That's, yeah, you can't win. You can't win them all if you don't win one. Uh, 72. Great card. Uh, I have a six. I have a five. This, you, I think you must have planned this. <laughs> you must have did some undercover work. I, Do you have his in action card? Yeah, it's right there. there Who go. doesn't? Everybody has his in action card. Come on. You Look, you can't even beat me on the in action. I've got a six. I got a six as well. I can't even top it. <laughs> All right. You might start, you might start gaining some ground here. Okay. Here I'm gonna beat you on this one. Okay. No, I'm not really, but I, I can talk the game for a minute, can I? <laughs> um, I love this card. I have mine in a six. Well, congratulations. I have a five. Oh, gosh, I'm coming back. You feel threatened? That's, that's worth 100 points for you beating <laughs> me on that. There you go. But hard card to get. I mean, a very. that's an expensive one in high grade yeah. just because of the year, right? So. Um, and I tell you, it's one of his better cards, too. I mean, yeah. I, I like the color. I love those older colors in there. And him holding the bats, you know. Yeah, that's and look how he signed his name on the facsimile. It's Reginald M. Jackson. Right. That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful card. All right, 1970. I don't think I'm going to get any points from you here. I got mine in a four. And I've got a five. Look how young, old Yankee Stadium in the background. So great. So great. So well, we're the rookie, you're down by 19 and a half points. Down by 19 and a half points. And the rookie, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen you show your rookie card before on any of your on any of your stuff. But let me well, show mine one, first. Which one do you want me to show you? Do you want me to show you my autographed rookie or no, that's great. Let me you do the last one last. Let me let me show my four, and then let you a, get up. I have a four. Also. Okay. Beautiful cards. And again, like you said earlier, the the rookie his rookie is not as expensive as you would think it is. Um, well, this this throwdown was a little bit anti climatic. That worked out really well, actually. I like leading wire to wire. And uh, I, I would do that every time. In fact, I plan on doing that every time. Well, this wheel is going to be kind to me coming up sometime, but uh, it's kind of, we've kind of gone through flows on this on, you know, we, you won the first couple. I won some in between you caught back up. Now you pushed ahead yeah. and with 11 of them down, you are now up six to five. That's it, actually. We're going to stop here now that I have the lead again. <laughs> and, uh, that's the end of the show. Uh, that, would, that would not be nearly as much fun. Let me pull the wheel up here. And uh, let's, I mean, we've got names on here like Frank Robinson still, Mantle, Mays, uh, Musial, Spawn, Barra. Like you should, you would want to have Barra, Joe Morgan, Ted Williams, Al Alkaline Battery. Brett, you would love Brett to pop up, right? Right, that would be that would be okay. All right, you tell me when to click it. Well, okay, click it. I don't want you to be saying I kicked the table or something again. I don't know how you got this rigged. Oh, Roberto Clemente. Okay. Well, that should be fun. That will be. That will be, and I tell you, I, now we could call our we could call our friends. We got a bunch of Roberto Clemente friends. We do. But I like my Roberto Clemente cards. How about you? I'm pretty confident in my Clemente collection too. So 
I don't think I'm going to need to call in a closer on this one. Right. And I, you know, I, I don't think I, I don't think I want to, um, they, but they could get their cards out and follow along with us and tell us, you know, tell us how bad they beat us. How about that? Or the encouragement would be to do what Don did. If do your own video showing yours and giving your points and seeing if you can beat us, do your own video. That there's a there's a club twenty one out there that ought to do that. Or they could get on and challenge each other, you know, and do the same thing we do. That would be great. I'm a, we and we may have to make a phone call, or surely one of them be watching this channel, and they can, you know, they can challenge the club twenty one. There you go. Well, till that time, Chris. Thanks for uh, having crappy. But awesome Reggie Jackson card. No. <laughs> well, great. Yours is, your Reggie Jackson collection looks wonderful. That had been tough for anybody to be. Well, thank you. Um, I'm excited about Roberto Clemente. I just love all his cards. So that's going to be awesome. And you guys will get to see that next week. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you next time. Keep collecting.